Recently, my sister-in-law posted this picture of some artwork that she had done for a yoga studio near, uh, I believe, where near where she lives. I thought this was pretty cool, good artwork, but also it intrigued me as a potential good example to use for uh, v-carving. So I took this picture, I stuck it in my software. Um, where the software did it wrong, I fixed it up manually. This is the the shape that it made me, or that I made, the vectors. Uh, from that I programmed in a, a v-carve bit and this is what it could look like. This, is, this example is using maple. Um, so that's pretty cool. In addition, one of the directors where I work, he knows I'm into CNC. He'd asked if I'd ever used Apple Ply. This is Apple Ply. It's a premium hardwood, apparently void free. He gave me a little sample, a little five and a half by 10 inches. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to make this, and the dimensions are accurate to the, the part that I got, on some Apple Ply. This will both see if I can well, make this, this is pretty neat, but also see how the hardwood apple ply does. So here's the toolpath already set up. This is the simulated toolpath. You can see the everywhere that it goes. And in a little bit, we will start cutting. Let me show you the setup. Forgive the shop lights, but it's otherwise really dark in here. So this is the piece. Um, I've already zeroed it in on this corner here and zero is the top of the workpiece in this case. I've clamped it to the sides, the very corner. I'm hoping this very wide V-carve end mill will not touch it. I've placed them where the shape should not be and I've had the start and end position to be in the middle of the part so it's not going to rush off to the corner after it's done. Well this is the uh, moment of uh, this is where we see how bad I screwed up. Let's get started. <laughs> get a brush, do a little cleanup, and we'll see how we did. Well, I did take an X-Acto blade and drag it through some of the uh, cuts that go into the second layer of this premium hardwood. And what I found was that Apple Ply does have some softer intercourse. I always thought it was hardwood all the way through. I don't know where I read that or if I just thought it up, but the softer stuff does have a bit of tear out, unfortunately. But the overall design and the overall effect of V carving this. Really, really cool. Maybe this should be done better on some solid wood as opposed to plywood. Anyway, uh, hope this was slightly interesting. Holly, excellent work. Till next time. Thanks for watching.